Oh, somebody please tell Bishop I need him to get his fucking shit. Oh my fucking God. About, about two evenings ago. Okay. On the same day as, you know, I have brain disorder, so I have to remember stuff in a different way. During Patient Saints Radio. Okay, that's where I place DMX at. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. During a different show, I'm not going to say. So okay, I'm not going to say that. But anyway. So that same night as last time there was Patient Saints Radio. I go under um, this restaurant. I'll call it Foo Foo. It opens late so I can sleep as uh, long as I want to in the morning. Just in case I don't want to get up 6 o'clock in the morning. If there's no potty call. Because, you know, all day long, these people, especially in Lake City, it's like there is stuff. They love to eat my toenails. As soon as I came into the city and had a rest, I noticed that there was an airport to the left, a small airport. Next minute, all this fucking my, my, my toenails is in severe pain. I can feel stuff leaving my body. I said, okay, this, this. This Lake City is a place that eats your toenails. And the old white guy's hip that was displaced by, you know, something in me for being with, I assume, the colored girl. Her father must be some uh, one of the blacks of the 12th tribe. Blacks of the 12th tribe. Displaced his hip spiritually. So as soon as I came to Lake City, as soon as I sat down, boom. They start drawing off all the chemicals in my toenails. It's already bad enough. I have my toenails develop growing problems because of all this poison in my body that just eats up my skin. See, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it eats up my skin. And it's these slash marks on my body. Don't think it's from being a bushy. A lot of times it, it, it's from, they just uh, full of poison. They break open and bleed. You see my ugly toenails turning brown and stuff, and then they stop growing and cuticles stay on them and stuff because the lack of growth trying to destroy my toenails because they were trying to go for me uh, having diabetes and high blood pressure, all this and that, uh, and, and uh, harboring uh, unclean spirits, you know, against my will, of course. This is all slavery in Maryland, Gainesville, Maryland, uh, Spring Grove Hospital Center, which, you know. They, I think it was what Bosley on Joppa Road or something. I forget. I be forgetting whether Joppa is for Kettlesworth, the boys, or uh, Bosley, the girls. But anyway, so this is cooking and shit. Uh, so I was at Foo Foo's that same the last Patient Saints Radio Day, and all of a sudden, this one black vehicle goes by. It's probably a nigga. But then again, some of these wiggers be playing nigga music all loud to make you think it's a nigga because, you know, there's these familiars. But guess what? Put on the nigga's head. He's the problem. The other people is not our nation. They are. And we all know what the Bible says. So, he goes by me. And with his, the frequency where he played his uh, uh, booming on, turned on all my skin like I was the girl with diamonds or an, an X-Man. It was like each skin cell it must have act, was activating the uh, slave chemicals. Um, each skin cell started having this funny feeling as it was projecting sound. And from something earlier, I went like this to my skin because the, the Lord showed me something earlier. I went like this to my skin and it automatically affected the ear. Whatever side I touched affected the ear of that side. And y'all know I got bugs in my ears. You know, these are the unclean spirits that shouldn't have been around me that kept trying to be around me. And the Lord finally cursed them and, you know, put a curse, uh, a curse them. But it's like I'm cursed because now, now I'm, I'm carrying their filthy bug, you know, coals and some uh, unknown, uh, dirty, grimy black nigga. Uh, since the white girl uh, uh, and the nigger boy want to be uh, together so much and that's what you've been projecting, guess what? You're fucking together. That's right. Separate. Anyway. 
just as the, uh, in line with the word of God, not together. They be trying to work together to take over my brain sometime, promoting this what I call mental illness, trying to scramble my brain like I'm on crack and stuff. But, you know, let the Lord be made true and every man a liar. Uh, uh, the earth is under God's feet. But anyway, let me hurry up before my captain comes on in three minutes. So after that happened, he went toward Winn-Dixie, the one where the, the building is 187, uh, where the, uh, the white female with the perfume was stalking me in the store. When I said I was going to leave, now I'm trying to keep me out because I said, I'm going to leave. Fuck y'all hoes. You know, y'all trying you you fucking keep putting your fucking white devil man next to me, chasing me around all motherfucking day, especially on that fucking Monday where somebody had a fucking bomb. Anyway. So I'm there, I'm out of my business. There's some white, uh, white fat hoe, probably on her way to Win Dixie, full of perfume. Try to talk on her phone. I shut my phone off. A lot of times you shut your phone off. These people go away. No signal. You know, you know, no signal from those people who walk, talk and walk all day. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, trying to steal and infiltrate from other black people for white people to have a point of contact. But anyway. So, that's right, coming around you, unwanted, but anyway, so, so, I turn off my phone, then she walks, and then she try to say something to me, I put my fingers in my ears to let you know, I know where you come from, ho, then uh, she try to, uh, try to talk, uh, try to talk like Violet Willard back home, you catch more honey with bees than, when nobody but being me, but excuse me, Catch more honey with bees. That's she falling asleep trying to blame on her hepatitis B in court. Yo, know, yeah, I noticed some themes from there always popping up. But anyway. So the fat hoe moves on. Leave all this perfume behind. Like I do, I pray to the Lord to remove all that perfume quickly because guess what? They keep trying to get you stuck in your 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 their zone. So you Either way you turn, it's just all oh, their stifling perfume. And you know, I have slave chemicals in me because I was a slave in Maryland for two years. So it just breaks me out in whelps, you know? Yeah, I'm a lion, but I'm no fucking lion whelps. And guess what? The whelps don't represent that you're a lion's whelp either. Anyway. So the hoe goes. Then some white girl goes, then some nigger boy goes, and then, you know, eventually some white, uh, some white, uh, wigger man gonna come by, cause that's, that's who follows the black nigger boy, who he's escorting around to come next to blacks when he's supposed to, for, of course, you know, a hoe's a hoe, taking money, but anyway, so... I'm asleep. I go through many things that night. I'm not going to go through everybody trying to uh, suck my toes out. Play, uh, try to act like their life depends on these slave chemicals. All this white stuff is poison. It's not ash. Oh, there's a uh, time to go soon. And so, can't stand the word New Orleans by now. All the way from Jacksonville to Atlanta to fucking this lake city no 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 going with that maryland uh bull slave bullshit somewhere else to that will and burl uh patel people demonology okay now it's worth leaving okay so here uh, so when it's getting towards daytime is remember it's evening you know and when it gets towards daytime before it becomes daybreak like a couple hours before daybreak somebody shoots something in me Shoot, you know, they use this sound, you know, uh, 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 I guess they call it sonar, but it's sound or whatever. Shoot something in me, and somebody somewhere must t simultaneously, because I don't think it's the same thing, try to create a door, and they probably on a keyboard type, type in DMX. And the letters DMX came out to just beyond the Fufu restaurant. And I attempt to go back to sleep because it don't matter to wonder about these things because the only thing magnificent in this world is God because you know, what, I, what they've been chasing me for, guess what, I was a slave 11 years ago, so that means they've been chasing you way before that, setting you up just like City Rescue Mission. Anyway, so, okay, it's time for me to go. And so, and like, Shortly after the DMX, oh, oh, before that, it's like a clapping sound, but it's not like two flat pieces of wood 
hit each other. I said, oh, somebody want to sound like they're shooting. So I'm looking. I don't see the perfect person making a clapping sound with some like wood, you know, like not click a clackers, but you know those wooden things that go like this. That you know when uh, your parents from down south bring you back all those stuff from south of the border, not on the border, south of the border. You know some of those wooden things that make that clapping sound. But this is a larger, you know, this this just just like what they're doing with these chemicals in me, because I only ate a little bit day by day. Just to say, Lord, let it sustain my life. I understand this is a perversion of food and it's very concentrated. So therefore, just a little bit is needed per day. So you have to look at it as a multivitamin, but multivitamin, but a little bit per day. And if I start getting a toothache because of the poison, I would eat a little bit more just to shut off the you know, tooth. Because of course, it's all in the teeth or whatever. By the way, let me go see my cat. And so... Hear the clapping sound. Then uh, 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 I got shot before the uh, clap. Well, I'm always getting shot, so it could have been after the clapping sound. And uh, then the DMX comes out, and uh, and then after that, somebody put in my mind an image of Bishop Nathaniel of Israel and I in Christ gay. And, and guess what? They had a hard time of portraying him as gay. And, and, and for a bishop. You know, he did a lot of classes where he told people, okay, you been a girl, I've been a boy. Or, or uh, you been a boy, I've been a girl. Shalom. <laughs> he did enough incidences that people could, you know, these demons could bank off of being gay. But that shows you God was beating them up at the same fucking time because this person, they put a lot of energy, so much energy to try to portray Bishop Nathaniel like all, oh, like being a little soft. And it was hard for him to do because they couldn't hardly get off. If I didn't know the incident, I really wouldn't even know it was even being gay. Then they tried to show me they had sandals on. So I know that's the perversion feel from Whitesboro and Cape May County. Um, because we have to say, if you these gay faggots always wearing flip flops, thinking that's being a girl. But any true nigga gonna be wearing sandals. So they was trying to act gay, but they couldn't hold their image together because they had sandals on uh, to indicate they were not gay. But they wanted to eat at the Chinese restaurant, you know, uh, 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 for kicks like these these goblin market hoes. You know what I'm saying? And, and for some Lamborghini money, because when it started to fall apart, I said, oh, the foundational guy is that guy on the New Jersey Transit bus that's running uh, around in Camden who, uh, when he found out I was a nurse, was like, uh, you missing a lot of money. And I was like, well, you know, it be what it be. That profession don't mean nothing to me. A job is a job. I was a, a checker too before, for y'all don't know, I was a cashier with a, some grocery clerk in, uh, involved. That shit don't mean to me. A job is a job. This is American life. You know, I'm not American. I'm waiting for my <laughs> nation to pop up and live so I can live how I want to live. You know what I'm saying? According to the word of God. That's what I've been saying ever since I was young. And to them, that's why I used to always tell people, oh, I'm waiting for the barter system. That's code word for, uh, I'm not fucking American. Don't fucking try to treat me that way or there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a cessation of learning. And, I, and a cessation of, I ain't doing shit when I go to school. You're going to forge all those grades like you do for everybody, every fucking body else. But anyway, let me get back to, um, and so this person, and, and guess what? And they couldn't do a worm. They couldn't uh, portray Bishop as a worm like the white people were worms inside um, a, a Glassboro, which there's a lot of Glassboro themes here in Georgia and um, uh, Florida. And so, what I already lived, that's why you curse people. You know, you curse people by your living and you're following God's laws and uh, dealing wisely with them and God's children. But anyway. So, so uh, they couldn't do Bishop as a worm, but when he started breaking prize, okay, I see that one uh, uh, guy that's a New Jersey Transit bus driver, him and I don't know who the other two that was combined with him that superimposed, not even a true image of Bishop, but people with likenesses trying to get them all together, you know? And so I was like, oh, oh I gotta go see my cat. And I was like, uh, uh, and, I, and I was like, uh-huh, I see what perversion this is. Bishop, come get your shit. I 
I'm not gonna hit you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, that's like you know how I feel. So before I punch somebody, slice somebody, I've been wanting to send myself to prison. Every time I get a knife, the Lord be like, oh, where it go? Where it go? Where it good? It go in warts places. I think that's my children <laughs> that the Lord has given me.